Hi, I'm Lydia Gilman and welcome to the channel. In this video, I share a segment from a recent episode of my podcast, Step Into Purpose. My guest was Jen Liss, an amazing breathwork facilitator, coach, podcast host and speaker. Jen talked us through the real power of breath work. And as a highly sensitive person, I found it really transformative in my own life to help me get out of my head and back in my body and get out of that real stress mentality when you're feeling overstimulated. So I found breath work really helpful. And I specifically asked Jen to share this exercise, which is really short and easy, but super powerful. And I even shared it with my daughter when she was recently doing a show where she was going to be singing on stage solo for the first time. And she was feeling the nerves as any of us would. And I led her through this exercise and it really got her out of her head and out of her nerves and back into her body where she could go up on stage and she did an amazing job. So I highly recommend going through this with Jen and adding it to your tool belt if you find it useful. Please enjoy. I'm so glad that you had joined that day and were able to share that forward with her because it's so powerful, especially. And this is because I have the experience that I have as being a lifelong introvert. Raising my hand to ask a question in class or during a meeting, you know, this is as a child, as an adult, freaking terrifying. My sympathetic, my limbic system so activated. And when having to get up in front of a group of people or speak up, all of those things, I 1000% understand what happens to your body. And breathwork is a means of teaching your body that it is safe for you to get up in front of those people and share. It is safe to share your gifts with the world. It is safe for you to be seen. And so this is a breath pattern that you can do when you start to notice that monkey mind beginning to take over. Maybe you start to notice your blood pressure starting to rise, your palms are sweating. All of those things are beginning to happen. This breath pattern will shift your state. So what I would like you to do is just take a nice deep inhale into your nose. Fill the belly. Nice expanding of the belly. And then exhale out through your mouth. Feel into the surface beneath you if you're seated, just reminding yourself that you are supported by that surface beneath you, feeling into your feet. And then we are going to begin what is called a pulse breath, breathing two breaths into your nose and two breaths out through your nose. There you go. Just beginning two into the nose two out through the nose at whatever pace feels good to you. We're going to do this between eight to 10 times. Two in, two out, in, out. There you go. And as you breathe, focusing on your breath, on the counting, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And when it feels complete, going ahead and taking another deep breath into the belly, through the nose, filling the belly. And this time we're going to exhale through the nose, a nice long extended exhale. And feeling back into that support of the surface beneath you, reminding yourself that you are supported. If you closed your eyes, you can go ahead and reopen your eyes and just come back here with us. Yeah, 
This breath pattern really gets you out of whatever it is that you're thinking about and focusing into the present moment on the breath, the counting, the pulsing. It's kind of unnatural. <laughs> and so you have to focus. It's hard to focus on anything else. Something that your listeners can do as well, say, just depending on the situation that you're in, if it really is one of those situations where this is so good for either before or after an activating event, say, you raised your hand in a meeting or you spoke up in a meeting and you feel silly based on what how everybody responded. This has been a very personal experience. I've experienced it a lot. You speak up and then you feel silly. <laughs> you can use this breath pattern to just very gently, nobody even needs to know you're doing it, especially if you're on a Zoom. If you can so easily just mute yourself and do this breath. Nobody's going to see or notice that you're doing it. And then remind yourself as you're grounding into the support, I am safe to speak up. I felt called to say what I shared. I don't know how they received it. It's okay however they received it. I'm glad I shared what I shared. And we can just give ourselves that affirmation, reminding ourselves that it was safe to say what we said, and maybe we learned something from it, and now we get to move forward with this new knowledge. So it's that, like, what I call radical self-compassion and leveraging our breath as a means to shift out of the our brain is going to automatically say, well, you're an idiot for speaking up. How dare you say what you said? They, now they all think that you're this or that. That's what the brain's going to say. And it's not true. So it's using our breath to interrupt the brain's chaos and remind yourself that it was indeed okay that you said what you said. Um, and we can do that before, before we want to say something and we can do it after. And it's genuinely so powerful, even just 10 seconds of it. Thank you so much for being here. And please share this video with anyone who you might think will find it helpful, especially if they are highly sensitive. And please consider subscribing to the channel because it helps so much. Jen has an amazing membership called Brilliant Breathwork. And if you're interested, I'll put the link in the description below. Thanks so much for joining me.